hello and welcome to my channel in this video a white lady is seen talking about how tired she is about this arrow to the sixth game between us the black community and the white community now she does not end there but she goes on and says the same people who are trying to stop this are the same people who are at the same time trying to bring division to mean my fellow brothers and sisters are the ones bringing division between us black people and palm color people let's check out her video clip that's what makes me what they say I supposedly am to them. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm sick of the bullshit. And there are a lot of white, uh, white folks and black folks that are sick of the same bullshit. We are trying to heal America. And instead, it seems like those same people want to destroy and want to continue to divide. And I ain't got time for that shit. It turns out that the original video was deleted, but I managed to pick this clip from the stitches. Now, like I always say, people on social media always keep receipts. So they, they had already stitched the video before it got deleted. Talking about stitches, let's take a look at some of them and hear what people had to say because her last statement got people talking. Let's check out the stitches. Okay, Brittany, is that your name? Hi, Britt. Um, I'm Lex, I'm an activist. Never could you be part of my circle. Not for one second. Now I've seen other big creators on here who allowed you into their circle. No shade, some of those people are mutuals with me. Love you guys, but the minute I heard the fake black scent is the minute I was out. Brittany, you made a video as a white woman saying how you could say the N word. Brittany, you made a video being the aggressor and antagonizing black women. Every time there's a white woman on this app who appropriates black culture, you co-sign that, you back her up, and you antagonize any black women speaking out against this. Brittany, you weaponize your followers against black women. Brittany, you made a video saying you should be accepted as a black woman and later apologize for that. Brittany, you fetishize black men. You've made several videos this month antagonizing a black activist on this app. I never knew why my mutuals were friends with you because the minute I see a white woman with a black scent, I'm out, I'm out. You don't help the black community. You never have. And your views are very elementary. I don't believe you can understand advanced racial concepts like intersectionality, but I'm going to explain to you a few things. You have white privilege. You are a white woman. You are not denied housing and jobs because of the color of your skin. You are not profiled and killed by police because of the color of your skin. You have white privilege. Okay, we don't have that. And it's not about equality, don't pick on the white women when the white women are constantly voting for their race over their own personal interests and constantly active in the oppression of black and brown people. Now, I know I'm using too big of words for you. I know that for a fact. I question your intelligence level. I don't mean that as a slight, I mean that as a fact. And I'm gonna say a hard truth right now. The reason you have one million followers is because you're pretty and you give hope to white women who appropriate black culture. That's it. There isn't a talent there you aren't helping anyone. And you have actively caused harm towards the black community. So don't make videos pretending to be the victim when you constantly come at black women. And when you come at us, do not expect for us to remain silent and to not defend ourselves. Never could you be in my circle? Not for one second of your life. And I do have white allies in my circle and they keep scrolling when they see your video.
for everyone else watching this, when I hear her fake black scent, it's like nails on a chalkboard. It is so cringe. I can't stomach it. Can we stop having her on the For You, please? Because when I hear it, I mean, it is, it is literally like nails on a chalkboard. And they all have the same fake black scent. I don't know where they get it from. I don't know what movie they studied to fake it. She also made a video where she showed how when she's pulled over police, she uses her real Becky accent. She grew up in a black family. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, just for me, in the future, the minute you hear that fake black site, don't, I mean, can we block them? Because you're letting them in our circle and I don't want to hear it. I have a weak stomach. Thank you. The same people want to destroy and want to continue to divide. Why the fuck is it always our responsibility to fix it? Why? It is a problem that, is, that has been here longer than a lot of us have been here. It is older than a lot of us are. And it's a problem that does not reside in our communities. It resides in communities of people that look like you. Why are we responsible for fixing it? We didn't fit up. I am so sick to death of people that look like this woman telling people in communities that she don't live in, that she's been a visitor in, never been a part of, but been a visitor in, that we are the ones that want the divide. Is that right? So, because we're no longer taking your minimum effort and giving you maximum trust somehow we divide? Why don't you ever point this bullshit at the motherfuckers who started it, perpetuated, and keep it going? Like the Nazis on the goddamn bridge. The ones people are calling fake actors. But we gotta fix it. Hey, people of marginalized community, we know we have never really listened to y'all and never paid any attention to y'all and never given y'all the proper respect that you fucking deserve. But please, why won't you help us fix some shit we started? Do you not remember how you even got here in the first place by riding on the goddamn coattails of the black members of your fucking family? But when that didn't pay enough or you didn't get enough attention with that, now all of a sudden you on this bullshit? In other words, I'm going to ride this until it no longer suits me. Then I'm going to be what I really am. Why won't you help me heal this shit that we actually started and y'all were the victims of? Got it here. What the fuck do we always have to do that? We're always told, lower your anger. Temper your rage. Temper the, the factual information. That is a part of that rage. Now, in as much as palm color people are tired of us speaking out on the our criticism or this drama as they call it, and I don't think we have gotten that engagement from them on wanting to address this issue, at least them speaking out, you know. Quite all right, there's some that talk about it, but the majority of palm color people have white fragility. Now, this is the these are feelings of discomfort a palm color person experiences when they witness discussions around racial inequality and injustice many of the times they would try to avoid talking about it because um, of the white privilege they have where they they have advantages uh, in society that others do not now let me let, let us take a look at some of the comments from people and just hear what others had to say about this video 
she thrives in her weaponized uh, whiteness she uses the black community she has always been problematic towards the black community she is white period she also mislead the black culture until she couldn't hide her, her real self any longer the black accent is so ridiculous just because you prefer to be with a black person doesn't mean you can appropriate what they sound like the saddening thing is that she has mostly black folk following and checking up for her as if she's victimized or like them she may try to put herself in our shoes but um she still has white privilege now there are a lot of comments like people are taking this uh, video differently and a lot of people are commenting based on the t her type of content and they, they they had this to say i don't know what you think about this video so i i would like you to just share your thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in my next video